having notifications. I know what it's like to be desired by men. I don't know what it's like to be valued by one. What's going on, Passport family? Welcome back to another episode of Men on the Move. Guys, before we get started, go ahead and like and subscribe. That's really going to help me out and get me to a broader audience. And without further ado, let's get into this video. Brittany Renner regrets being a 304. First of all, hi. I crave connection, but I am not entertaining men for the sake of having notifications. I know what it's like to be desired by men. I don't know what it's like to be valued by one. When people ask me, why hasn't it worked out with anyone? Well, because I've never valued myself. I've been running from myself for a really long time. And I'm no longer drinking it away, eating it away, sleeping it away, fucking it away. I'm sitting with my shit. I was entertaining conversations with men I knew I would never take seriously because I felt like it validated me. Single, I'm alone, but I'm not really. I have people on my phone. But I never needed anything outside of me to validate me. But until you're ready to get that honest with yourself, you'll keep looping back until you do something different. You're really only holding yourself back and prolonging the inevitable, which is you having these difficult conversations with yourself. You don't believe in love. You're desperate. You don't think you can do any better. Ultimately, you feel like it's what you deserve. Anything you attract from a disempowered state won't last. That's a feel good life quote. And you deserve all the things that you deeply desire. But your actions have to align with your beliefs. Brittany Renner is giving everyone a glimpse of what life is like after being a 304 finally catches up to you. Brittany Renner explained that she knows what it's like to be desired by a man, but she has no idea what it's like to be valued by one. I want you guys to understand that this is the effect of the 304 lifestyle. No man could possibly have value for a woman with zero value. Brittany Renner went on to explain that she never valued herself, but I will have to say that's a lie. I believe she placed too much value on herself. Passport family understands she had enough value in herself to believe after she slept around with many men in the industry, wrote a book about it, bore a child by an NBA player, which she left because she believed herself to be of such high value that she still deserved better. So no, it's not that she didn't value herself. She made a gamble and lost. Passport family, in this life, we don't get what we deserve. We earn what we want. Brittany has laid the map of what type of woman you should not be with. Understand the wrong woman can destroy everything you work so hard to create. Get away from the twisted behavior of the American woman and find an abundance of women with value overseas. If it's something that you love and you feel passionate about, chase that by any means necessary. I was told I was lame to be a barber. I'd be stuck in my hometown, but God gave me the vision to see that I could be why.